Okay, so this is lesson 14, level 9, in code.org, Discoveries Unit 3. So what we have here is we're doing just about the same kind of thing that we did before. It's the conditionals, if this, then what's the condition, right? And let's see what this is. Run the code, see how it works. Add a conditional that will change the dinosaur's animation to a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. So right now we have dinosaur going up. And so we have it scaled, it's a Tyrannosaurus. And in the loop we have dinosaur.y gets dinosaur.y minus five. So here we have to set a condition or if. So if we're using blocks, it's in the control, we're going to go set that. We can drag that right over here, right? So if, right, we're going to put dinosaur.y, because that's what's going up, dinosaur.y, and how high do you want this to get before it changes? Probably right around here, maybe, and then you can see what it is. It looks like it's about 100 or so. So it is less than, because it's going up, it is less than 100. And next line, whoops, this is going to be up top over this. I always have to be careful of where I put this here. We're going to put this yeah. if dinosaur.y less than 100 dinosaur dot set animation and then we're going to go ahead and put pterodactyl because we want to change it to a pterodactyl. Whoops, with the quotes semicolon and there we go and we use dinosaur instead of dinosaur.y because dinosaur is in fact the variable and let's see if that works let's run this there we go and you can start it a little lower too if you want it depends you can change that to maybe 200 or 150 so it's dinosaur.y to make him go up and then dinosaur, if that dinosaur.y, because it's still going up, right, is less than whatever number you set. And then dinosaur.set animation, because we're changing the variable into the pterodactyl. And that's that.